So why is the Fed dancing to its own beat? And the reaction in the bond markets, is that telling us a very different story? Let's talk more. Tony Nash of Delta Economics is our guest host for the entire program. Tony, very nice to see you. Morning. So the Fed keeps on saying we're sticking to our original plan, but people just don't seem to listen, if, especially if you take a look at what's been happening out there at the bond markets. How do you read, interpret what's been going on? Well, I think there are a number of dynamics, both globally and domestically, um, that are impacting the view. First is global trade in November was down 1%, a full percentage point, okay? You know, the real question around the Fed's decisions and around commodity prices and other things is where is demand, okay? Mm -hmm. World trade is down a full percentage point in November, uh, which is a big statement. It was well below expectations, all right? You have U.S. consumer data negative in November. You have wages at under, wage rises at under 2%. Um, and you had durable goods orders that didn't really come in very well. One of the things we need to keep in mind is that a third of all traders today have never seen a U.S. rate rise, okay? Right. It's been nine years since there's been a U.S. rate rise. So a third of all traders are too young to have ever seen a U.S. rate rise. What we haven't seen out of QE is the investment that it was supposed to spur, mm. right? Here's cheap capital. You go and invest, and investment will create jobs. That hasn't happened. Part of that is that banks, as the monetary transmission mechanism hasn't worked, although the U.S. system is much more sophisticated than that. But, um, but the investment that leads to job creation, that leads to demand, hasn't happened as many people thought it would. The only thing that's happened, well, there are a number of things that have happened, but one of the main things that have happened is it's kept interest rates down, right? right. which is great. But that's created a, uh, a much more volatile cycle than many people thought it would. Yeah, so there's <clears> been uh, the job numbers, the actual, the headline figures have been good, it's, but it's the wage growth level that's been quite tepid. How come the Fed is ignoring this? Uh, I, I wouldn't say they're ignoring it, but I do think that they're more focused on the headline number. Mm. Um, the problem is when you dig into those data, the, the people who are getting jobs are people who are 50 years old and older, right. okay? So you have this older pre-retirement generation that is displacing the people in their 20s and 30s. Mm. This is really, really dangerous for the structure of the U.S. economy and the structure of the U.S. labor force.